NFL week one lock of the week for the show here. This is what I got. I'm on the Eagles. I've been on the Eagles. Love the Eagles all offseason. Looking at this, looking at this, we got the Eagles line move from minus one and a half to minus two and a half right now. They're playing this game in Brazil. Kind of makes me nervous. You never know how both teams are going to travel and, you know, your weird sides, different country, all that stuff. At least the time zone shift isn't going to be a big deal. But uh, we got sharp money and big money on the Eagles in this one. 27% of the bet, 61% of the money on the Eagles. I like the Eagles here. Now, listen. What people forget about this Eagles team is they did start 10 and one last season after coming off that Super Bowl run. And uh, they just they, they stumbled down the stretch. It happens. And the worst kept secret that we found out um, this summer was Sirianni and Jalen Hurts don't like each other. They get along or work, you know, it's a work relationship, but they don't get up. They don't actually like each other. Not even a little bit. I'm not saying it got to be buddy, buddy, but they don't really like each other. It's really hard when your coach and you the guy that's calling the plays for you, you guys aren't on the same page. And when the going gets tough, uh, we we can see why the ball just uh, kind of went out of control there to end the season. Because you're kind of looking at it like, how do they lose five of the last six? They got embarrassed against uh, um, uh, your Buccaneers in the playoffs. It's like, man, mm-hmm. this does not seem like that that team. Like they just lost all momentum. And the reason why I think I'm thinking it's because of Nick Sirianni and Jalen Hurts' relationship. And so the GM of the Eagles came in, sat him down this offseason, said, hey, we lost our offensive coordinator. We lost our defensive coordinator. But guess what? We're bringing two great guys in. and You're not going to be touching the offensive side of the ball. Okay. <laughs> like, mm. you, we're going to leave that to Kellen Moore, which I love bringing Kellen Moore in. If you need a guy that needs to work with a quarterback and get buddy-buddy with them and draw up a perfect – I mean, Kellen Moore, who might end up being one day an NFL head coach, I think he is a great offensive mind. I think with all these weapons that they have, got AJ Brown there, uh, Devontae Smith, and they just traded for that dude uh, for from the, uh, um, the the Commanders, right? And then you got Saquon Barkley in the back. I mean, this we'll see what happens. You know, people are nervous about you know Jason Kelsey retiring. I think it's, I think he was he knew his body was like mm, this might be it, but we'll see. Maybe like you said, it was the wife. But I like the, the Eagles here. I like the Eagles here. I think they're going to be able to be do just fine with all those weapons. And I think the one big thing, too, people aren't counting out count here is the uh, Eagles defense. They have all that young talent. It didn't really click last season. You bring in uh, Vic Fangio, Fangs, right? You bring him in. I think he's going to be able to have this defense. It might not be right at the beginning of the year, right? Usually you want your defense kind of humming towards the end of the season or in the middle of the season kind of hitting their stride. But I think he's going to be able to work with this talented, talented young group of men here on this Eagles defense I like the Eagles and then for the Packers I'm just everyone else is hyped up on Jordan Love I'm not all that hyped up he did he had one season you got to do it again prove it to me He's so like I like the Eagles years. under 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 a field goal here what do you think under a field goal I've actually, it's actually already moved out to three over on DraftKings and the Eagles minus three right now at minus 102 there so you know, I'm with you, man. I'm with you. We know this, you know, this team out there, like you said before, a lot of te- people have forgotten this team started out 10 and 1 last year. Looked very good, like, like they were cruising to another deep playoff run, and then all the wheels fell off, man. You have locker room problem. You have Jalen Hurts and Sirianni not seeing eye to eye there. Um, I do think it is smart to not have Sirianni call the plays in this spot. I think it allows him to do some other things and focus on some other things, maybe that he wasn't able to focus on down the back half there due to all the other stuff going on. So Eagles got a plethora of talent on that roster, man. It's a weird game. Going to be played down in Brazil. First one of those there, another international game in a different country for the first time. So we'll have to see how that plays out there. Don't know what the field service is going to be like. We've seen that before. We've had games in like Mexico City where the field was just garbage. So it'll be something to monitor there. But I think I'm with you, man. I see this line keep creeping out in favor of Philadelphia. You know, we've had a lot of the questions coming into the offseason. There's still a lot of talent loaded in there on that roster. And we know Jalen Hurts is a capable quarterback. You had the pieces like Saquon there and A.J. Brown coming back. Devontae Smith got another year under his belt, already a very solid receiver in the league. Uh, Dallas Goddard at the tight end position. So a lot, a lot of talent on the, on the Eagles team. But they got a young Packers squad that was the youngest team in the NFL last year. Uh, Jordan Love now in his second full season as the starter. And I, li- I like that guy. I know you do not really care for him. I do like that guy. I like the young receiver, Jaden Reed. Um, so you got Romeo Dowles on that team. You traded for Josh Jacobs in the offseason. So once again, a lot of talent on the Packers as well. So it's going to be an interesting game, and you'll get a good idea what these teams are going to have going forward in the season in this one. But then you throw the weird factors in with the Brazil game and all that. So I'm going to monitor it a little close going into it, but I think I'm with you, man. I, seeing that line move that way, somebody knows something. I think the Eagles might be a spot for Philadelphia. 
Listen, if the Eagles lose to this Packers team in this on this Friday night, they're a bunch of <laughs> And if they do and they lose to Jordan Love, I'll be in here calling myself up <laughs> for believing in this squad, okay? Can't wait for That's that. That's where we're at. Philadelphia lock show lock of the of the week. Eagles minus two and a half. Lock it in now before that line moves to three everywhere. And smash the like button, uh, follow the channel, subscribe to the channel here, and we'll catch you guys on the next video. What do you think about maybe taking a little alt line on Philadelphia in that one? Uh, now you're talking. That's right. You're Just talking. a little minus six and a half, get you a little plus money there. Oh, I was thinking nine and a half. Okay. Get bold with it, man. We're, uh, you know, maybe it's a pleaser leg. Find, find me another one game that 